This video shows how to set up your new AT&T Smart Wi-Fi Extender. This includes downloading the free AT&T Smart Home Manager app, adding the extender to your home Wi-Fi network, and tips on optimizing the placement of your extender to get the best Wi-Fi coverage in your home. There are no tools or technicians needed, and the entire process will take up to 10 to 20 minutes or more. Let's walk you through the steps and get you connected. You're probably super excited to pull everything out of the box, but let's go one step at a time. First, if you don't already have it, let's download the setup app to your smart device. You may see this called the AT&T Smart Home Manager app. The easiest way to download is to point your smartphone camera over the QR code right on your install box. After a few seconds, a notification will give you a link to open in your browser to download the Smart Home Manager app or feel free to go to att.com slash smart home manager on your smart device and download from there. You may wanna pause this video to complete the download. Once downloaded, just launch the smart home manager app and select the sign in button to log in using your my at t user ID and password. Forgot your user ID or password? No problem. Just select the forgot user ID or forgot password link in the app home screen. Go ahead and open the install box and let's get going. Notice the inside of the install box lid. We've numbered and color-coded the extender equipment and steps for you. Now that you're signed in to your Smart Home Manager app, just select the Get Started link. On the next app screen, you'll be introduced to your new Wi-Fi extender equipment inside the box. This is the same as seen inside your box lid. Go ahead and unpack the new Wi-Fi extender 4971 and gently set aside. Also inside the box is an ethernet cable with yellow ends labeled number two and a power supply label number three. Good, now on your app, select Get Connected. Now, if you have multiple Wi-Fi extenders to install, you'll see a screen in your app to select which extender you're installing. Securely hold the new extender you'd like to install and turn it over. You'll see a serial number stamped on the bottom. Just select the correct serial number in the app and then select the next button. If you're just installing one extender, you won't see this screen. Unplug or power down any older Wi-Fi extenders in your home and set them aside. You'll no longer need them. Then place your new extender next to your Wi-Fi gateway. Take the yellow ethernet cable, labeled number two in the install box, and plug into either yellow ethernet port on the back of your new Wi-Fi extender. You'll hear a click when the cable is correctly inserted. Take the loose end of the ethernet cable and plug into any yellow ethernet port on the back of your Wi-Fi gateway. Again, you'll hear a click when the cable is correctly locked in. Now take the power cable labeled number three from the install box. Plug the power cable into a working outlet and then plug the other end into the back of your new Wi-Fi extender. You'll see a small green LED light come on right next to where you plugged in the power cable. And within 60 seconds, another small green LED light will light up next to the ethernet port. When you're ready, select the activate extender button on your app. Your new Wi-Fi extender will automatically start connecting or pairing with your Wi-Fi gateway. It may take a number of minutes for the pairing process and you'll see the progress on your app. Once the pairing completes, you'll see the light on the front of your new Wi-Fi extender turn solid white and you'll have an activation successful message in your smart home manager app. If there is any issue with the pairing, your app will walk you through getting it resolved. Great, your extender is now connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Just select the Let's Go button and we'll finish up by placing your new extender in your home. Unplug the power cord from the new extender and the wall and keep it handy. We'll need this shortly. Then unplug the ethernet cable from the extender and the back of the gateway and store for future use. Connecting a device directly into your gateway with an ethernet cable is the fastest and most reliable way to connect to your home network. So you may want to use this ethernet cable again at some point. Now take your extender and power cord and smart device running the app and move to a location between your Wi-Fi gateway and the area you want a stronger Wi-Fi signal. Please note the recommended maximum distance between your Wi-Fi gateway or another connected extender is 40 feet, two walls, or one floor away. Extenders work best when placed up off the floor or on an open surface away from large obstructions and things that can cause interference, like appliances or baby monitors. Now, before plugging in your new extender, let's run a scan with your Smart Home Manager app to see if you're in a good spot to place the extender. Just make sure your smart device is connected to your main Wi-Fi and select the Run Scan button. 
Your app will take a quick scan of your location and let you know if this is a good place for your extender. If you need to move to a new location, your app will walk you through moving to a better spot. Once you've found a good location, plug your extender into the closest working outlet. You'll see the back LED light turn green. Your extender will connect wirelessly to your gateway, and in about two minutes, you should see the front light on the new extender turn solid white. If the light on the front doesn't turn white, in your app, select the The Light Didn't Turn White link for help. Finally, select the best label for the extender's location and select the Next button. That's it! You're all set to enjoy your new mesh network and extended Wi-Fi coverage to every corner of your home. If you have another extender to set up in your home, select the Set Up Another Extender. Otherwise, select Close in your Smart Home Manager app and you're good to go. The Smart Home Manager app goes way beyond just setting up your Wi-Fi extenders. Use it to manage and troubleshoot your home internet network, including resetting your gateway, test your internet speed, use parental controls features, and more. If you have any issues with your Wi-Fi devices, select the three dot button in the upper right corner to access the message center. Just type in connecting devices for help, or feel free to go to att.com 4971 for assistance. And if you'd like us to come to your home and set everything up, We've got you covered. Heads up, there may be a fee to have an AT&T technician come to your home. If you need more general help with your service or account, just head to att.com support. And our internet support line is available 24 seven. Just go to att.com support to chat with us for no charge. Thank you for choosing AT&T.